Hello everyone, in this session we'll discuss about first pass of an assembler. Now, during the translation process from assembly language code to binary language code, it is passing through two phases. And that phase are nothing but passes of an assembler. So, during the first pass of an assembler, what operations are carried out? Uh, only one operation is carried out that is the symbols which we have used into our program i'm talking of symbols not instructions symbols which are used into our assembly language program are getting shifted to the symbol table that means they are stored into the symbol table along with its location so that is the task of first pass of an assembler let's see it to it by means of a flowchart so when we'd be starting the first pass the first pass will start it by location counter setting to be zero. That means the value of location counter that is LC. LC, location counter can be also termed as memory address where the program is stored. So location counter is initially set to zero. Then later on, after setting it to zero, we would be scanning the next line of code. That means we would be scanning the program's line. That means the first instruction or the first line written in the program would be scanned. Then we would be checking whether the scanned line of code is label. If it is not label, then we would be checking whether it is ORG. ORG is our pseudo instruction, which we had discussed earlier. So if it is ORG, then what we are going to do? If yes, then we are going to set our location counter to the address specified in org because in org we are writing some address along with org and that is with what we are supposed to set to the location counter so set location counter and after setting the location counter we would be scanning the next line of code again it would be checked whether it is label if yes now let us consider an example if it is a label if it is a label then what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to store the address in symbol table along with the location counter that means the location counter would be stored into the symbol table for that particular symbol and we need to increment the location counter by one that is increment location counter and then we would be shifting to the scanning of the next line of code but if over here it is not an org instruction that means if it is not org then we would be checking it for another pseudo instruction that is end if it is not end then we would be directly going to the increment location counter and again moving on to our cycle that is scanning next line of code and checking all other conditions but if it is end, that means if the pseudo instruction written is end, then we end our first pass of an assembler over here and we would be directly moving to the second pass of an assembler. So this is how the first pass of an assembler works. So the only goal of first pass of an assembler is to find out the symbols written into our assembly language program and store their address along with the symbol into the symbol table. So again, having a brief of this flowchart, we would be initializing location counter with zero. We would be scanning the next line of code. If it is label, no. If it is not label, then we would be checking for a pseudo instruction org. If it is org, then we would be setting the location counter for the address specified in org. And again, moving on to the scanning of next line of code. Then again, checking whether it is label. If yes, it is label, then store the address in symbol table along with the location counter and increment LC and again our cycle for the next line starts. But in this case, if it is not ORG instruction, then we go to the checking of end instruction and pseudo instruction. If it is not, then again we go for increment LC and we'd be going for the next line of code. And if it is an end instruction then we'd be directly going to the second pass of the assembler but question arise over here if it is not an instruction then what it would be we are not concerned about what it would be it can be any other instruction like any other pseudo instruction or it can be any other machine instruction in the first pass we are only concerned about symbols so if symbol is there then we need to this do this processing rest we are not supposed to do anything so this is what is the first pass of an assembler. 